Rodrance for Black and White Entertainment. Let's talk about The Punisher, a character from Marvel that I highly appreciate. Punish them, Rhodes. Uh, Frank Castle, a man who seeks vengeance when justice is not rightfully served. And the SJWs are mad because proud patriots wear the Punisher skull a great deal. There's a lot of different designs. You can get them all over the place online. The American flag. The American flag. Um, I've got the, well, you know what? Let's pull back the curtain over my face. Look, the Punisher logo is on my wall right there. Uh, the American flag pr- proudly. And now they're coming for it. They're trying to cancel the Punisher. Because of course they are. Of course they are. Nothing can just be left. If it's now considered patriotic or American, it has to be canceled. This is from Newsweek. So, what does a mostly wholesome entertainment company like Marvel do when this fictional face of ruthless anger is adopted as a symbol of very real, very dangerous violence? That's what a lot of people were wondering in the aftermath of the riot at the U.S. Capitol. Was it a riot, or was there just like 10 people that got in after the cops let them in? I don't know. I'm just throwing that out there. There were multiple claims on social media about riders wearing the same skull logo that adorns the Punisher costume. At least one very clear photo exists of someone brandishing the symbol. And then they go, look, listen to the hypocrisy of just this one statement. There were multiple claims on social media about riders wearing it, and at least one very clear photo exists of someone brandishing the symbol. In the very next sentence, though it's hard to tell, though it's hard to tell from a distance, if one does look up close, there's a Punisher white skull that is apparent on an American flag logo. And look, I'm not going to show the picture, but I looked at it. It's about this tiny. No shit. I mean, it's like this big. I had to literally, when I pulled it up, I had to literally get about this far away from my computer screen to be able to make out that there was a Punisher logo there. It was by no means, no means easy to see. In fact, I was like, why the fuck isn't it bigger? The White Skull emblem, as well as the Punisher himself, is a popular symbol among the Proud Boys. Here we go with the Proud Boys again. The I'm going to add this part. Among the Proud Boys, the non-white supremacist group whose leader is half black and half Cuban. Enrique Terrio. Good God. This has led some ardent fans of the Punisher to call for Marvel to change the logo. Halt the Punisher products for, uh, projects for the time being. Or even retire the character. The pop culture site Bleeding Cool theorized over the weekend that Marvel may have secretly done away with the Punisher without without telling anybody. It noted there has been hasn't been any new Punisher comic books, and the Punisher show with John Berthnall uh, was canceled in 2019. But a lot of that's got to do with the whole Marvel Disney transover uh, uh, move over thing. And they're talking about rebooting the Daredevil, and they've already, they're have already they already talking about the Punisher is coming back in it. In light of writers wearing the symbol, many took to Twitter to ask Marvel to consider doing away with the character. Marvel, at this point, you've lost the Punisher logo to the worst people. Fucking patriots. Just change his logo and don't use this stretch skull anymore. I don't say this lightly. It's time for at Marvel to put the Punisher out to pasture. The concept is corrupted. It says so many companies online sell American flags adorned with the Punisher skull, as well as many police and pro-Trump merchandise. There's nothing wrong with that at all. Pro-Trump merchandise and the police, not the police, not our guys in blue. Oh, that's socially unacceptable these days now, isn't it? 
freaking lunatics. By the way, they come down here, and the, the one of the co-creators of the character, Jerry Conway, decided to take action last summer uh, because some cops were wearing it, aggressive cops, that were having to fight against the Black Lives Matter movement. You mean the people burning down the streets and the police are doing their jobs trying to defend said violence? Is that what you're talking about? Conway launched a fundraiser initiative for the BLM. They call for, called on artists of color to create their own T-shirt designs that incorporates a skull. Why did it have to be part of the BLM? Why not just why not just ask everybody to create your own designs, whether you're white, black, polka dotted? I mean, does it matter? Once again, good God, everything's about race. Do these people not understand they are making things racist? They are. When you make things about color of skin, that makes you a racist. Leftist? Good hell. Okay. So once again, we've got to retire a character that's been beloved forever. I think he originally showed up in a Spider-Man comic. If I'm not going crazy, I'm almost certain. A lot of times they introduce these characters and they get a guest spot. Ta-da! Introduce Blah in a comic book and it was usually attached to a big, big character like Spider-Man, Captain America, the Hulk, etc., etc. And I'm almost certain that the Punisher was tied to Spider-Man, if I'm not correct. And he had some dealings. He's, he's fought everybody. The Punisher has had it out with everybody, good or bad. He's the anti-hero, okay? Uh, the Punisher is sort of Marvel's akin to Boba Fett, all right? Uh, he's, he's there. He's not aligning himself with the Rebels. He's not aligning himself with the Empire. He is there to uh, wreck his own personal, uh, uh, wage his own personal vengeance, okay? Um, now, look, uh, Boba Fett does it for money, whereas Frank Castle is, uh, believe it or not, doing it out of the kindness of his own heart. But at the end of the day, yeah, when justice is not served, the Punisher logo is appropriate. But that's not got nothing to do with anything. This is a comic book character. And fans of the comic book wear the apparel. You can't automatically draw a line between what you perceive as some kind of right-wing agenda with the use of the Punisher symbol. You can't. You can't. Before I ever started talking politics, I've had this hat for 10 fucking years. It's a hat that's 10 years old. It's ridiculous. It's just a comic character. It's just a comic character, but you assholes have to be offended by everything. You have to tie everything to everything with an agenda. Everything is offensive. It is a comic book character. So people went out there and they're wearing Punisher shirts. Who gives a shit? You're trying to tell me that, that nobody on the left that was out in the streets earlier this year wrecking shop, none of them had a Punisher shirt on. By the way, I bet if they did, you leftists didn't say a damn word about it. Not a thing. The only reason you're pissed about it now is because President Trump's name, you know it's worn by a lot of people that like President Trump. Good God. I was looking at my Facebook because President Trump is coming to Texas. And even locally, it's turned into a dumpster fire. It has turned into a dumpster fire. There's feuding. We are, we are so divided right now. And the left wants everybody to unite as long as it's under their agenda. And that's the problem. We're not doing it. Nobody's uniting with ever anybody as long as you're calling for Marxism. And look, you're trying to, you're trying to rise communism in this country. Patriots aren't going along with that. They're not. Sorry. They're not doing it. What do you think? Should they hang the Punisher up because some SJWs are offended by the skull? Uh, Thomas Jane 
is highly underappreciated as the Punisher. And I love this movie. And John Travolta is wildly underrated as an over-the-top bad guy in it, too, by the way. If you guys haven't seen The Punisher with Thomas Jane, I would check it out. I would check it out. Thomas Jane is a is an underrated actor anyway. I've got The Expanse. It is on my to-watch list. I've got friends that tell me it is the best show on television right now. And Thomas Jane is in uh, quite a few of those episodes, is my understanding. So, tell me what you think, black and white entertainment fans. Or Road Squadron. Peace, I'm out. Till next time. <laughs>